all right guys welcome back to another video game play installation we're going to show you how to install nve natural vision evolve along with your uh, lspdf4 if you have lspdf4 installed you can use nve with your lspdf4 i've seen some people have some issues with crashes and where the game did not work so we're going to fix that today let's go ahead and get started so you want to come over here to your google i'm gonna type in nve nve mod or you can go to raise mods either one you want to choose from click on raise mods um nve nve been out for a while so you some people pretty much know how to install it but for those of you that don't this is how you do it come down here to the bottom grand theft auto 5 click on that and they have two versions i had this one i kind of liked it but i'm trying something different now so now i have this one um the natural vision evolve so once you it's covered up you can't really see it but you click right here and click download it's, it's a 13 gigabyte download so it's going to take uh some time uh depending on your wi-fi speed so mine took about i don't know about five ten minutes or maybe less i'm not sure but um click download and i already have it i hope i didn't delete it let's go check and see because i already got it downloaded um my my win folder should be here if i deleted it where is it there we go that's it okay good all right this is it natural vision evolves single player so you want to come over here uh my bad let's come back okay win war open this up all right you have let me come up let me pull this to the side and pull this to the side well i don't need this actually i just leave this over here so you're going to go to your open iv if you have one uh well you should have one um open this up and go to windows but if you have this set up like mine to where what I do is I can't do it here. I don't think I have to do it in my other folder. I can show you how to get your icons looking like this. You can come over. Let's see. Maybe I, I think I cannot show you because. Um, anyway, once you to get it set up like this. I can't show you right now. Let me try it again. Um, maybe I can. Yes, I can. Okay, come to open with right here. And then you want to choose Renoir. No, my bad. You want to choose another app. And then come down to Open IV. And you should, it should, um, once you do this, click always. And then it's going to show up just like this to the side. That way you can just double click like part one. You want to do part one, part two, and part three in order double click that i'm not going to do it just cancel no nope, i don't want to do it you double click it and once you double click it it's going to pull up and you're going to click install and then take it to your mods folder so it's already done it i i'm not going to do it again but if you have any issues just comment down below in the video but it's, it's pretty it's pretty simple installing it you want to do part one two and three double click it and um just go to um um, your um, install and then mod but if you have open iv like this you can take it and drag and drop anywhere over here as long as you got edit mode turned on just drag and drop it over here and you should be good to go uh let's come to reshaders um you want to take all of these files and come to your dta5 main directory what i do is I, I copy i copy it to my clipboard and then i paste it over here into the main directory and boom that's it or you can just drag and drop make sure you're not drag and dropping over a folder or anything like that you want to be an empty space out to the side so you won't mess anything up now this is where you can do your LFP video for. I'm not going to cover all of these. This is you can do this at your own discretion. Um, but I have majority majority of these installed into my game. It's pretty simple. Once you uh, go inside of one of them, let's go inside Darker Nights. It's, it looks just like that. You double click it and boom, 
and they all are going to your mods folder. You have some that goes to your game folder, but it will automatically detect that it's going to be a game folder file because it's not going to give you another option to take it to your mods folder once you get it into um, OpenIV. And um, and dragging and dropping is the same thing. So you can drag and drop it. That's uh, that's an accident. I didn't mean to double click that, but that's what it looks like. Um, install and then mods but uh, if you see one that says this will be grayed out or you cannot click it and just say game folder just put it in your game folder but you, you will notice now lxpdf4 right here come down to the bottom compatibility patch you want to take this double click that and this is going into your mods folder this is how you can play your lxpdf4 with your um, NVE installed. Put that into your mods folder. Okay? Do it one time, that's it. And you can uninstall it if you want to, if you don't really want to do it or play LSPDFR. Um, and that pretty much fixed the issue. Um, I experienced that. I was messing around with it today. And uh, that's what I chose to uh, do right here. Um, when I saw it, I kept looking through it. I skipped over it. And I came back. I said, why is it not working? So I seen this and boom, there we, and then it started working. It's going to remove some things. As you can see, if you double click it and you read over it, it's going to remove. Um, all right. This add on will remove all of ENV enhanced weapon textures as well as neon and uh, animated lights in order to, compat in order to add compatibility for Rage uh, plugin hook. So <clears throat> that's why you need that. So, and that's pretty much it, man. And you can just open the game up and it should be good to go. So let's go ahead and go inside the game and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is how it looks inside the game right here. Um, I got the trees going. Uh, I, I chose the uh, spring the spring season uh, pack and it gave me these trees. And I also added reshade into my game. That's why it looks dark. Like that, you know what I'm saying? If I come over here, hold on, this is not the home button. If I use the end button, I changed it. And active at the top. If I disable this, you can barely see it, but it's taking away the sharpness. So let's see if I can show you. It's hard to tell, but um, that's what I did. If I click F3 and go to my time. Let's go to night. It looks so good at nighttime, man. Let's see. Let's go back an hour. Let's keep going back. Now let's come over here to the weather. And when it when it rains, you can really you can really see a big difference in the puddles and everything. Yeah, it looks. It looks good, man. But you can add all your add-ons, whatever you want to add on to it. Should be good to go, man. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, that was um that was one of the reasons why people could not go on duty. Once you go on duty, force duty or whatever, the game will crash. But you can play the game with just loading the plugins. But when you go on duty, the game crashes. So this fixes it. This fixes that issue. All right, thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay updated for more videos like this. Peace out. Hey, y'all take care, man. Be safe.